Hello, this is Bajar. In this tutorial, we are going to make our Node.js application to run different environments. So we will be having different set of configurations for each environment like test, development, staging or production. As usual, you can check this repository for the codes for this tutorial. We are starting from this branch, config start, and the final implementation can be found in this config final branch. So the project is already opened in VS Code right here. To get the whole history of this project, you can check my previous tutorials to see how did we reach to this point in this application. So far, we have seen how we can create REST application with Express, how we can use SQLize for ORM, how we can validate the user request, how we can return generic error responses back to user, and also how we can provide responses in different languages. And in this tutorial, we are going to make our application configurable. And in this application, the most meaningful configurable part is this database configuration right here. For this one, we are going to install two dependencies. And the first one is this cross env. This is for setting environment variables and it is overcoming the cross platform environment value set problems. So let's install this one first. Opening the terminal right here and running npm install save dev. This is going to be installed as development dependency cross env. Now we are going to use this dependency and we will use it right here in the package JSON. Here we have this script for starting the application and now we are going to set the environment name like this cross dash env and we are setting the node underscore env and this is going to be let's say development. It's up to us what we are setting right here. Now in the application let's open the index.js Let's log this value. So let's say here in app is running in mode and let's add that variable and we take that node env like this process env node underscore env. So this is the variable we are setting and this is how we are getting in our application. So saving this one and let's run our application. So here in this console log, we can see the app is running in mode development. So just like this one, we can add another script and just copying and pasting this one and just renaming this script as let's say this is going to be for production and typing it like this start colon production or just prod. And in this one, let's say the node env will be production and let's not use nodemon for this one nodemon was uh, watching the changes in our code and running the application once again so in production we don't want that so just running node index saving this one and killing this console now let's run npm run start prod so in this one here, it is saying app is running in mod production. So this value we are setting right here is printed at this line. So we are setting an environment variable and we are able to access that variable in our application. So now we can introduce functionalities based on that. For instance, here in this index.js, yes, we are initializing the database and also we are adding users to database. Now we can do something like this. Let's say if process env not underscore env equals to production. So if we are running in production, let's just initialize the database. Let's not do anything else. Otherwise, we will be initializing the database and we will be adding users to it. So saving this one, killing the console. Now we have this database file here, dev SQLite, just removing that one. 
Now running the application in production. Prod. Here app is running in mode production. Now if we open the postman and send get request to this user's endpoint, here we are receiving this response having empty content. But if we stop the application and run in dev mode, right here running the start, which is in development mode. So this part will be running and this is going to be initializing the database and adding users to it. So if I go back to Postman and send a request, here I'm receiving the users from database. So that's how we can use this um, environment value in our application. So we can introduce different behaviors for different environments. And in our database configuration, we are configuring this SQLize instance with these parameters, but now we can do this configuration based on this, this environment. So we can do something like this. Let's say we will have an initial configuration like this, let configuration, and this is going to be, um, let's take all these values. Let's say this is the DB, the database name, and it's going to be test-db and we have username and it, let's say this is user and we have password and this is going to be pass and also we have the dialect this is SQLite and there is host and this that is this one dev SQLite and also this is taking another property like right here logging here in the output, we are seeing these logs printed because this logging is by default true. So let's say in development environment, this is going to be uh, true. Uh, logging will be true. But if process env node underscore env equals to production. So if we are running in production environment, then let's overwrite this configuration, just copying and pasting here. And let's say this time the database name will be something else. Let's say prod db, prod user, prod pass. Again, the dialect will be SQLite, but we can use another database. We can use the, the PostgreSQL, MySQL, the others. So. Uh, we will be just pointing to different database in production. And let's say in production, this is going to be prod SQLite and the logging will be false. Now we can use these values right here. So this is going to be configuration DB, this one configuration username, this one configuration password, and this is configuration dialect, configuration host, and this one is configuration logging. So with this way, we have this configuration object, and this is dynamically set based on the environment, and we are using the that object's values in this SQLize instance creation part. So saving this and killing this console. Now deleting this dev SQLite. Now running the application in uh, in production. So npm run start column prod. So it is saying app is running in production. And here we can see the prod SQLite is right here. And I'm killing this one and running in development mode. Application is started. Here we have the dev SQLite and here we are also seeing the console logs are printed. So we are dynamically using configuration in our application. Again, we can point this database to something else. So this is allowing us to our application to interact with different components in different environments. Now we have these configurations set here in the database JS module. 
and we can extract them from this module and for that one we are going to use another library and that is this one the config so let's install this one first killing the terminal npm install config now we are going to create a folder in the root directory this is the default behavior for this dependency it is looking for a folder named config in the root directory and in this folder it is looking for files having this environment names so we will have development and this is going to be json file and also it is looking for production json so now we can extract these values from here just cutting this one this is for the development pasting it to this development json and running the format to format it for the json file and doing the same thing for the other one and this is for production now just removing this part we can read the values in these uh, in these configuration files like this first we get the config dependency config now we can get each of these values like this config get and we pass the key like this db username password so we can get each of them like this or to make things easier we can group all of these configurations uh, with another key let's say this is going to be database configuration and let's move the this part into the database and let's do the same thing in the in this production json So we have this database key in this in this JSONs, and basically we can get that database, and let's assign it to this configuration object again. So we are getting this part into this module with this variable, and this uh, this file will be selected either development JSON or production JSON based on the environment we are setting right here. So let's save all these changes and now removing the dev SQLite once again and also removing the prod SQLite and let's run application in prod mode. So the app is running in production and here we can see the prod SQLite and killing the application and running application in development mode. And here we can see the dev SQLite is created. And if we would need another environment, let's say we are going to have adding a new script right here. And this is for, let's say, staging so this is going to be staging staging now all we need to do is just copy and paste one of the config files and it's going to be staging just using the same name i'm typing right here so in staging let's say the database will be staging sqlite saving all these changes and let's run the application in staging environment so we expect to see staging sqlite to be generated here so app is running in staging and here we see the staging sqlite so that's how we can extract the configuration and that's how we can create different configuration for different environments so that's all for this tutorial Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next tutorials.